45 in the morning, June 19th, uh, June 13th, 2019. I'm not going to correct it. It has been a morning, and by the time this is uploaded, it will have been part of a day. So did I say that I missed you guys? I really did. But Helios Media, as you know, has discontinued their news, politics, and cultural broadcasts, and we are launching a new project that, like the news, culture, and politics, was in the works for a long time. And finally, we decided to revitalize the project. It was a better time to do it. And so without further ado, let's jump right into it. Helios Media would like you to become familiar with a new name, Alpaca Made. And we are a retail and resale store on eBay. Uh, hey, Higher Media? Higher Media, can we get a ta-da or something for this? Oh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. He's not here. Once again, production is left up to me. That's all right, we'll just, we'll press on. So, Alpaca May. Here, here's our ta-da. Very good. So Alpaca Made is not a new name. We've held that name for a while, and it was slated for handmade goods by both Pyre Media and I, but we decided to shelve it last year and try the commentary, and that didn't work so well, so here we are at our store. Okay, you can see that uh, I'm a little rusty and out of practice, but that's okay. Uh, we'll just get through it. Here is the brand new Alpaca Made retail and resale store. And when I was setting up the store, I got a little confused. So in the URL up here, right there, it says, all spelled out, all lowercase, after the store directory so it's ebay.com forward slash str forward slash alpaca made retail and resale um you know naming conventions it's one of my favorite pet peeves and i wish i would have left the and out but it is what it is so here we are, we have a little store banner, uh, which is also our logo. This actually is an old, not old, but older logo. I had every intention when I moved here two years ago to, to continue a brand that I had started of handmade goods. And somehow in the last two years, it just didn't happen. I, I'm not, I can't really tell you why, and the idea was to incorporate Pioneer Media's um, woodworking skills into the whole project. And it just never got off the ground. And then last year, you know, I was involved in investigating a few things and uh, producing content. And I found it wasn't, the, inter the interaction with you guys was great, but the support wasn't there, to be honest. As you well know, decided this just wasn't for me. We have gone back to um, the retail part of it with handmade goods, but also we've, we've kicked off resale on eBay as a way to generate income to fund our retail side of the business. Because let me tell you, this, the things that Pyre Media and I are interested in are very expensive to buy the materials and the tools. We don't fool around. 
the resale part of it gives us the ability to take you guys along on adventures again as we did in the past during the news politics and cultural commentary that we did last year so uh, you can see it's a very bare bones shop right now one of the bumps we ran into along the road was that ebay did not make it clear up front that as a new seller we would not have the ability to have 50 free listings which is what they advertise um you know all over the place in their seller uh open a store uh, you know open a store information so i was zipping along trying to get a goodly amount of product listed for this week um, out of what uh, Pyre Media and I have sourced and I got I don't know 11 or 12 listings up in drafts and was double checking them making sure everything was as it should be and bang they stopped us at five so we only have five things up there. None of it is handmade, unfortunately, or our retail line. And uh, it, had I known they were going to do that, I would have chosen differently. I still would have chosen to open with Father's Day, uh, but I would have, out of our stash of stuff, I would have chosen some other products. Um, so this is what we have we have a book by jeff foxworthy entitled no shirt no shoes no service no problem which is a very funny book you would expect that from jeff foxworthy it's very short a couple hundred pages probably and it's just anecdotes from pulled from his comedy routines and uh, public appearances and observations about life just like you would expect from jack Jeff Foxworthy. It's a very funny book. It's in like new condition. Whoever owned it previously, uh, I don't think got 25 pages in and then stopped. That's where the uh, the book jacket fly leaf was uh, placed. It was not, you know, just over the cover of the book. Somebody had actually used it as a bookmark. So that's up, as well as um, this sort of conservative and understated tropical print shirt. It's, you can't get more Hawaiian than this. It's hibiscus flowers with leaves and it's, but it's in a very understated color palette. So, um, you know, it's, while it is a tropical print, if you're a conservative kind of guy, this might be for you. And then next we have Ken Filet, um, Hornet Flight. I love Ken Follet as an author. Uh, you might consider this a guy's beach book. It's good, uh, thick book, meaty topic, um, but it is also very well researched. I really just love Ken as, um, as an author. And we're putting that up. It is again in very good, like new condition um so we put that up at 1095 and then there's um this is all of our listings these were our featured listings this is the whole five the big you know ta-da uh jurassic park we put up as a video it the jacket is in like new condition there's a few bumps on it um nothing major and it is a family classic that if it rains this weekend, as it is in our neck of the woods right now, here's an old family favorite that you can, this is a VHS, so you can pop it in the old VHS machine, pop some popcorn or eat some watermelon and have some fun. And then the last thing we have up is an IZOD navy blue um, and white stripe extra large golf polo. It has the uh, IZOD logo on the left sleeve. It's very roomy. This picture does not give it justice and I don't have a zoom function 
queued up for uh, showing you the store, but if you click on it, you'll see that it is primarily navy blue and, and there's a shot of the logo on the sleeve. So that's it for our big splash opening. I would like to invite you to uh, visit the store. I'll leave links in the show notes as always. I would also like uh, to tell you of an upcoming promotion where we will be swapping these five products out probably on Sunday night or Monday. So between Sunday night and Monday night, we will be swapping out these products and we will be putting up Christmas in July. That's our big deal. That's our sort of grand opening, if you will. This is a soft launch and our big deal uh, will be five products that will be discounted for Christmas in July and that will probably run at least a week, maybe two weeks, until eBay lifts our five listing uh, sort of bubble wrap as a new store. They got us all packaged in bubble wrap. And, you know, as a baby store, they don't want anything to happen to us. They want us to succeed. As soon as they lift that restriction, we will be relisting some like maybe the shirts and the books and adding to that product offering as soon as they lift it so how can you help us well let's go back to the desk and we'll talk about it uh up on the screen you see our name again it's alpaca made retail and resale and our web address ebay.com forward slash str for store forward slash alpaca made retail and resale and of course as always please like comment and share you can find us on instagram as alpaca made and on twitter as alpaca made i can't tell you how much liking commenting and sharing helps us at this point because we are such a small store, the eBay algorithms will um, not promote us. This is Reezy of Reezy Resells, and he's a very successful eBay seller. We are not familiar with each other. I happened to catch his show this morning, and he brings up a very important topic to the buy, sell, trade reseller community, as well as customers. And so... We are going to talk about what he brought up this morning on our next show on Monday. And so that will be June 17th, next Monday, 2019. And that's all we have for you today, this surprise update. We hope that you and yours are well and blessed as always, and that you are enjoying the start of your summer. Until next Monday, please drive safely and have a great weekend with your family.